In this video I will explain how to add custom options via CSV import. First thing you'll need to do <coughs> the first thing you'll need to do is export a CSV from your um, product from your store admin. So you, as you know go to entity type products click continue the CSV will then generate. Once it's generated, click download and save the file to your computer. Once done, you'll open the CSV file. And as you see right now, I have two products. This one already has the custom options added. The custom options will be added from custom underscore option underscore store all the way to custom underscore option underscore row underscore sort these are the attributes for custom options So this review I will make it easier to view the, c the column by freezing the row. <coughs> I will freeze the row so you can easily see the columns. So as you can see in the first product, skew. In the first column, custom option store, this would be default. This is not required and can be left empty. This is usually selected for the default option in a multi select, a checkbox, a radio, or drop down as a default selection. Next, custom option type. You can either do time, date, and time, which would be entered as date underscore time, date only, a multiple select, entered as multiple, a checkbox, which allows you to select from by checking a box for an option, a radio button, drop down, entered as drop underscore down, this is for drop down menu, text area, entered as area, and text field, entered as field. Text field is generally limited to 255 characters, text area has no limit, and you can then set your text field or text area based on those limitations. The next, uh, the next column is a custom option title. This is the title of your option. I have entered them to be whatever they were, but you can enter whatever you would like in here. You can set this as anything you want, size, color, date of shipping, date of whatever, your choice. The custom option is required would be either yes or no. If it is not required, you want to set it to zero. If it is required, it should be set to one. As you'll see in the example product. Time. Time is not required and therefore is set to zero. All others are required and therefore set to one. 
next is the option price and this you would enter the price of the item whether it be percentage or an actual fixed rate again since time is based on percentage it will display here as percentage you should enter this as the numerical value it's either percentage or the fixed rate and here you would enter the custom option skew this allows you to track the option not track this basically is not required it's just if you have an additional skew for this option you would like to enter it for record keeping I guess but this is an empty this can be left empty it's not required custom option maximum characters this only applies to text area and text field and you can enter the number of characters the maximum number of characters in this section for a text area or a text field and may also apply to checkbox and radio but I'm not 100% sure custom option sort this is your sort order for the options the custom option row title this is the title for each row each option within so if you have for example the multiple select these are the options within the select and this is specified as the default selection so you would enter your two selections and the next row you would specify which one's the default same thing with the check boxes, the radio buttons, and the drop downs. Custom option row price is the price in a row. If fixed, you just enter the number. If percentage, you enter it as a percentage. And this is depend this is for each option selection then you have the skew for each row option finally the sort order of the options so if you want a specific order in your drop down or in your multiple select of which option displays first you would specify that here once done save the CSV and import it and as you can see your next product down is on the next row after all the options and that's how to create the CSV for a custom option if you want to create a custom option